I did Supreet and I was just uh, reading an article and then I stumbled upon this website. Now looking at this website, uh, I know uh, a lot of people would say, "What is this new programming language about?" Now this is a new Python. I would say this is gonna be huge. Now Mojo. Uh, is a programming language meant for ai developers and this um is created by uh, someone who created swift programming language now we all know how efficient was swift and it is still with this uh, where does python go where does python stand now uh, i i feel this is going to make huge uh, there are reasons for it and the reasons i'm going to show you uh and a lot of people say python is dead so if you see here um this is going to be superset of python now it says write everything in one language <clears throat> no c++ or cud required uh and if you see python supports single thread execution Mojo supports parallel processing across multiple cores. Now, um, now gone are those days when we had a single core. Now it's all multi-core, right? So uh, now look at this interesting thing. The logo of Mojo uh, seems like you know uh, the fire emoji. Uh, now, if you see here, uh, Mojo seems to be thirty-five thousand x faster than Python. lot of interesting stuff <clears throat> over here um let's let's see the documentation now this is not open source yet probably uh so i just wanted to read some of the documentation by them uh, there's a nice interesting article of uh, mojo that says why mojo Uh, but then what i'm interested in is programming manual now this supports a lot of uh, you know uh, the conventional stuff as well uh, but made easier now if you see here you uh, know uh, just printing of uh, the world <clears throat> in uh, you know uh, mojo programming language is pretty easy uh, define the main function and then print hello then you know uh, uh print it in a, a loop yeah uh now interesting thing is um you don't have to uh, name a file extension as dot mojo uh, you just have to say hello dot or your file name dot of the same emoji yes uh it says the file extension can be an emoji pretty interesting stuff how you would uh, of generate this emoji uh, that we will have to see but that's an interesting stuff um <clears throat> then uh, it supports let and var declarations uh, that you can use um, in your programming languages uh, now they say <clears throat> one is immutable and the other is non immutable uh it says let is immutable and var is mutable uh let's see it supports struct type um, you know we all have uh, experienced object oriented programming languages wherein we define class and all uh, even in python we have classes uh this supports struct as well um now this is a kind of you know struct definition wherein you define struct name then you define uh, you know uh, the attributes or field names of struct and <clears throat> what else uh, do we have uh, oh well uh, they also have you know uh, big end and small end kind of thing um and then they have strong type checking and yep they have overloaded functions and methods yeah look at this get item has uh you know uh, 
an integer as an input data item function also has uh, something else as a kind of uh, input parameter type so you know kind of function overloading so how do you define your functions um, you either can use fn or def and yep define a function using fn and then uh, give your method name use strings is one example then you can use your variable this way as well define a variable called a um, and then define your uh, no, value of that variable and yeah print um, you wanna of print your values uh, looks like enough programming language made more easier and faster uh, but then we will have to explore a lot um, so I'm just you know, taking the first look of it. Uh, seems like you know, uh, syntactically it is much more simpler. And yeah, look at this um, uh, function. These are some examples of, you know, of uh, how you're gonna define your function and then you know, uh, use it. <clears throat> A lot, lot, lot of stuff is available uh, as a part of documentation. Uh, but then, um, with this, people have concluded that Python is dead. I don't say it is dead uh, because still people are using AI. Uh, uh, I mean, Python for AI uh, development. And uh, although this is gonna slowly and eventually. Enough take over, uh, but then it is too early at the stage. But then 